Hi, it's Dr. Terry Zachary. I'm the developer of Handmaster Plus. Welcome back to the top 10 countdown for the benefits of proper hand exercise and grip strength training. It's getting to the good stuff now. Number three in our countdown is maximum stimulation of the nervous system. So let's consider this. What happens neurologically when we take our hands through a full natural range of motion when we exercise them as opposed to just a small squeeze or grip only action. Well, a lot of things happen. Firstly, there is three peripheral nerves to the hand muscles. There's the radial nerve, the medial nerve, and the ulnar nerve. All are stimulated slightly, of course, when we do small range of motion exercise, but we wanna stimulate them maximally. You may wonder why I'm all of a sudden wearing a hoodie for this video. Well, it's a little bit of extra covering. Now, that might not equate to better performance from me in my video today, but it does speak a lot to the subject of our video, which is the nerve coverings. And the nerve covering is made of myelin. There is a great book called The Talent Code, Daniel Coyle. Re highly recommend it to everybody, no matter what your activity is that you're trying to get better at. But one of the things he states is that the more deep practice uh, and repetition and creativity and teaching that is brought on to an athlete, a musician, uh, they go into mathematics, lots of different skills, um, that stimulates more myelin, the laying of more myelin on the covering of the nerve. And myelin, as we know from anatomy, stimulates the efficiency of the nerve pathways. So why would we be stimulating the neuromuscular pathways in such a small uh, range of motion fashion when we can take them through their full natural range of motion if we're just doing a hand exercise, our normal hand open, hand closed exercise, or if we're doing the figure eight exercise, of course, we're even stimulating uh, the body through a more complete range of motion, which is what we suggest for anybody that is involved in grip activities. Now there's also a study uh, that's published in the Journal of Neuroscience. It's a 2015 study from Brown University. I'm gonna read a quote from it. It basically says that neurons in the area of the brain responsible for planning, grasping motions, retain information about the object to be gripped as they make their movement plan. The collective neural activity therefore looks different when executing the same grip on one object versus another. The body is always reacting, it's always looking and reacting and creating a pathway in any grip activity. So if I'm an athlete and there is a motion that I'm reacting to, a tennis player, a gymnast, a baseball player, a football player making a tackle, the body is in essence always creating, uh, planning and creating its pathway. And to do that, you want fast reactions and thus you want that myelin that we talk about. And if we're training the hands through their full natural uh, motion, we are gonna start to lay down more layers of myelin that is also gonna result in faster reaction time. I'm also gonna look at the, uh, the musician. I go to guitar a lot, because that's what I know a little bit about. Not a lot, but a little. And I've worked with lots of musicians who know a lot about it. Well, when they're playing live, they may be moving around and they might be reacting differently, slightly differently to their reaction to their instrument. And again, in doing so, why do we not want to have as fully myelinated uh, neuromuscular pathways as possible to do our activity? Now again, we can talk about people in the workplace, we can talk about gamers. Boy, gamers is a really interesting one. There's now eSport athletes that have just went crazy as far as popularity and, and demand goes. And we're talking about neuromuscular pathways that ha have to be competitive. You need every competitive edge. Handmaster Plus is designed to stimulate those neuromuscular pathways through full natural ranges of motion so that when you have to react to anything in your daily activity with your hands, you can be as efficient as possible. The better those nerves are wrapped in myelin, the better they respond, the more efficiently they respond, whether it's speed, coordination, that has everything to do with the nerves that are going to your brain and going from your brain 
down into a react with your motor system or with your muscles. So stroke clinics have been using our product for many, many, many years. We use it for post-treatment recovery. It's a, it's a exercise that all the stroke patients can understand. They can use it at home because it goes onto the thumb and fingers. It is an independent exercise. Nobody has to worry about it falling off. The stroke patient can just easily do the full range of motion, whatever full range of motion they can do, start to again stimulate these neuromuscular pathways to a point of best recovery. Again, thanks for joining us in this video. I hope to see you in our next two videos that are fascinating.